do you think that Luca can win multiple titles with the Mavs? Uh, no. I don't think he can win multiple titles. Do I think he can deliver a championship, a championship in Dallas? Yes, but multiple titles, look, that's extremely, extremely hard, okay? And I get it. Luka is a phenomenal player. and But I have to remind people, this is not boxing. This is not tennis. This is not golf. This is not an individual sport. You have to have the supporting cast around you to make sure that you get to where you need to go. Now listen, you have a lot of upcoming rising stars. You have guys like John Morant. Golden State not going anywhere no time soon. The Clippers are going to be around for the next three, four, five years. The New Orleans Pelicans are right there in the mix in the conversation. And that's just in the Western Conference alone. So do I think Luka can deliver a title to Dallas? Yes. Do I think he's going to win multiple titles? No. Yeah, I don't get how you can say he can win one, but he can't win more. Like, I, I can he? Yes. I think that maybe you're saying you think the question is will he? Because I think it's outrageous to say that he, he can't. It's like it's not a possibility. They have a lot of the ingredients that you need. I think they need another star out there. But they have some respectable kind of role players. And they have one of the best NBA, like, postseason performers that we've seen in a long time. The man made it to the conference finals this year with, uh, I guess, Jalen Brunson with their second best player. No disrespect to Jalen Brunson. But he's not, we're not looking at Kawhi and PG over there. Like, we're looking at a tough situation. And speaking of Kawhi, the last couple years before this one, like, he went toe-to-toe -to -toe and put up impressive numbers, took them to game seven, took the Clippers, who we thought were one of the favorites, uh, I guess that was last season, took them to a game seven. And then this year, he knocks out the number one overall seed. And you're right, this is not tennis. This is not an individual sport. It requires a lot of other people and a lot of things around him to go right. But he don't need that much more help considering that he took them to the conference finals and knocked off the number one seed without a fully loaded roster that we would think is like finals ready. First off, let me say good on Luka Doncic for saying what he said and, and, and letting the front office mm -hmm. know how he feels. I feel like they did a good job this offseason. I think that that's a big thing we need to talk about here. Christian Woods, what they did in the draft. Um, but it still doesn't make up for the loss of Jalen Brunson. Yeah, Theo Pinson and JaVale McGee are important depth pieces for this team, but he still needs a running mate. He, he still needs somebody to pair with him so he's not, like, lost in, the, in you know, dealing with all of the, the weight of this team in the conference finals the way that he did last year when they didn't have any rim protection and it was just too much for this team to overcome. So what they have about till 2026 to figure this thing out, whether Luke is going to stay there beyond that, who knows? Um, I like that he was noncommittal with it, kind of leaving the door open to say, hey, Dallas, let's see what moves you're, moves you're going to continue to make to try to, you know, upgrade this roster. So mm -hmm. I'm not having to carry the weight of this myself, but if I'm Luka Doncic, I'm looking at, like, what everybody else around the league is doing and thinking, unless we're going to miraculously somehow land Kevin Durant, which I'm not saying, like, I'm not projecting that to happen, it just kind of feels like it's an uphill battle right now. I'd say they can win one because they've got time. This is going to be the 2023 season. You've got about three right. years to figure it out before he ends up figuring out whether he wants to go somewhere else. So, I mean, yeah, I think one. And, and, and think, about, think about this for a second. You know how hard it is to even reach the finals? That's a goal in itself. It's even harder to win one championship. And then to come back to repeat, to win another one, is even harder. So to win multiple titles, and then you look around the NBA right now. I love the NBA and what they're doing. Let me explain why. Because the organizations are on the outside looking in. They're watching the postseason. Teams that don't make it are teams that get, you know, kicked out of the first round, second round, third round, right? And what ha what's happening is, is teams are being, you have GMs and people in the front office that are being very aggressive in the offseason. So every single season that for the last about, what, four or five years, we have been watching powerful moves. We're watching teams go all in. We're watching guys make moves. And so when I look at the land structure of the NBA and how GMs are starting to be more aggressive every single year, every year we come on to these shows and we're talking about it's a different favorite to winning the title. It's getting much harder. 
Yeah, I think it's, you're absolutely right about that. But I think the aggressiveness probably works to his favor because the teams that are extra aggressive are teams that are looking for a Luka. Like, the hardest part about winning a championship, I would say, is finding that guy. There's, what, 10, 12 of them in the league that you think are good enough to be the centerpiece that you build a championship roster around. So maybe he leaves, but I think it's more likely that he stays. So let's assume that I, I'd say he's in his prime, but he kind of entered the league in his prime. Let's say he's got 10 more years of prime basketball in him. You don't think that they're going to be able to put together, or you think it's unlikely or impossible? Because I guess I go back to the first question. If I'm right, if I remember correctly, the question was, can he win multiple championships in Dallas? Not will he. I think you're right. Picking the field is probably smart. Saying that anybody's going to win multiple championships is like going out on a limb, assuming that they are at Jordan-level status or somewhere close to it. He's not that. I'm not saying he is. But I, I, I'm kind of confused and shocked that mm. both of you are saying that the wow. answer to can he? Can he? You're thinking he can't. Wha wha like, the answer is can he? Wha can no. he? <laughs> Okay, I'm not but, saying he can't. Yeah. I just think that right now you've got to look around the league. He's probably looking around at free agency thinking tick-tock, something's got to happen. Now, is it them trying to pair him with, I don't know, John Collins is an example that you could use out there. Potentially even DeAndre Ayton. I know that there's been you know, some reports out there about whether the sign and trade's going to take place and send him to the Pacers. And I know it would take a lot for Dallas to end up pulling that off because of um, the assets it would take in return for DeAndre Ayton. But, like, what do you think they need the most? They need rim protection. They struggled with that because they didn't have that. And Golden State in the in conference finals was able to score a ton of points in the paint. You don't find 17 and 10, 23-year-old centers all that often. So I feel like if you're Dallas mm -hmm. and you're looking at this window that you have to win right now with Luka Doncic, you're trying to do everything imaginable to make that happen within these next three years. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.